okay guys welcome back to another episode so today on this episode what we're gonna be doing is to build sidebars for the frames and um, if, let me show you exactly what I mean by that all right guys so this is what we call a sidebar on the frame and this is what holds the frame and the wires together and I did an assemble of this one previously and you can see that there and pretty much frame consists of a top bar bottom bar and two side bar and then wire for um, the foundation so this is what we're gonna be building today and this is guys arguably one of the hardest well it is the hardest part for me when it comes down to building frames um, so yeah, let's start. Let's get it started All right, so guys this what you're looking at right here is a lumber And um, In case you're wondering yes, it is treated I'm kind of getting the liking of doing treated lumbers because The bees will go through and they'll propolize and wax and seal everything so the treated lumber is just to prevent things from like termites and other things that really like to do wood so this we're gonna be cutting into slabs and as you can see fits it perfectly so we're just gonna be cutting these to length all right all right guys so this is the stop now after I have brought it down to the right length and you realize I have a few scraps of 2x4s here that I'm going to also be converting into sidebars for the boxes. And that's a good thing about beekeeping is that when it comes on to lumber, absolutely nothing goes to race. You can always find useful things for scraps of wood once you're doing beekeeping. So I'm now going to go ahead and get them down to the right thickness. And um, you can continue to watch the video. All right guys, so this is what it looks like now after we have run through that bring down the wood down to depth. So now they're the car of the correct width. So the next thing that I need to do now is to do the joint that's gonna go through here and to make the cut for here under here as well. So the frame will fit, top bar will fit here bottom bar will fit here and then we will go through afterwards and then cut everything every individual spec and then we will do the sidebar last all right so now have the saw dialed in right so I'm just taking out the cut from here and here and then I'll just run the saw straight through the middle 
and that will give me this exact diameter as this and we're gonna run through all the rest of the um, wood here to get our sidebar all right guys so we have reached that um almost the last stretch so we have done the top we have done the bottom so now it's time to turn this into this and then the only thing that would be leave now is to just to trim down the side and then we have sidebars so let's get it started There we have it so just gonna finish up this and then we go into the last section to complete the sidebars what the final step for making the sidebar and what we're gonna do now we're gonna pretty much turn this blank into having the right bee space here so the bees can actually go across each frame so if you put it in the box without the, the blanks it's gonna be like this but we need them to have enough spacing in between so they can pass in between the frames so we have to cut this little notch and that's what we're gonna do which is the final part of building the um, the sidebar so come on let's see what we can do on this one all right so pretty much the setup but what you need to do with that now is you need to have a router which is if you look under here yeah so that's the router and i just made a table attach it to the bottom made a fence out of a wood that is jointed and then I already have the fitting dial in for this one so the only thing that we need to do at this point is to figure out which is top and which is bottom and for me it's an easy way because the bottom is supposed to be flush with the bottom bar so by looking at it I can just use this as a dry template and I can tell that this is gonna be the bottom just by the way that it fits so gonna do a demonstration so turn on the jointer turn on the road And there you have it this is one so far so let me do another one just to demonstrate so just to find out which one is the bottom and you see it fit perfectly this one for the top bar is a little bit shorter so I can already tell that this is the bottom so I'm gonna do another one
and just like that when the two frames go together like this the bees have enough space where they can go in between the frames so that is why it's important to have this so now if you want to see now how we put it together I'm gonna link it to the description here you can look and see how we actually fit this together so the only thing that's left now is for me to build the top and the bottom and I'll do another video at a later date and let you guys see what that is like all right guys so if you like the content that we put out we put out these on a weekly basis so you can give us a subscribe like share comment and as usual take care and have a good one